Thank you. Dr. Reichman. Dear counselors, I come before you primarily as a professional physicist with an interest in energy matters and not in my usual role as McKernan Community League representative. I've read the Booz Allen Consultants Report and I come to the following conclusions. A, the consultants have written a report in the matter for which a plaintiff in a lawsuit hires a lawyer. Support my position, right or wrong, and give the best possible spin to my position. B, as such, the consultant has carefully avoided, by selective use of data, the real reason why trolley lines should be retained or even expanded. C, in particular, the data do not include the long-term availability of fuel for transportation. Two, as a scientist with an interest in energy resources for the future, I know that petroleum reserves are decreasing. There are still easily accessible reserves, but in essence, there have been no new major discoveries in a decade. One billion barrels of oil, a good-sized pool, represents 12 days of world petroleum use at current rates of consumption. A trillion barrels, and by the way, the total estimated amount of oil or reserves for the world are about three billion barrels, three trillion barrels. A trillion barrels last 33 years at current consumption. Petroleum-based gasoline and diesel within a generation will be boutique fuels. A, the slight current shift to biofuels, such as biodiesel and ethanol, are part of the reason for the certain sudden spike in food prices. The biofuel energy in output, as compared to input, is very marginal. Some say it's plus a few percent, others say it's negative. There can be real gains if we convert cellulose. B. Alternate fuels, energy sources, such as wind, solar, geothermal, can or, and do substitute for some fuels, some fossil fuel use. It's my professional opinion that these renewable options are to be strongly supported, and, but will remain a small contribution to the world's total energy demand. C. If we stick to the current energy consumption patterns, the only real option for energy will be nuclear power. The proposals for nuclear power plants in Alberta may be unpleasant to contemplate, but they make economic and energy efficiency sense. D. Nuclear and the renewable energy sources will reach the consumer primarily through the electrical power grid. E. Storage batteries for vehicles, be it buses or automobiles, requires major new technologies. F. Hydrogen as a fuel must be man-made. It is dependent on cheap electrical power because of serious conversion losses. Three, I have read and graded student reports. I've read MSc and PhD theses as an examiner in physics, mathematics, and in engineering. Let me reiterate, the Booz Allen report is not a scientific report. It's one-sided report to support a preconceived position. Four, I believe the Chekhov report on current engine technology and likely improvements, however, ignores the fuels of the future. Diesel and gasoline will be obtained from ever dirtier sources, likely coal. South Africa and Germany did that when petroleum imports were denied. Look a decade ahead, two ahead, and the dismantling of trolley wires will look like one of those most short-sighted decisions you can make. Just one uh, number, since I have a few moments. In the Booz Allen report, it said that it takes 2.8 or so kilowatt hours per kilometer to run a trolley versus 1.7 kilometers per liter to run a diesel bus. It's easy to convert, you know, kilometer, kilowatts, megajoules, and all these things, and how much energy is there in diesel. It takes 
10.4 megajoules to drive the trolley for one kilometer. It takes 22.8 megajoules to take a diesel bus that same distance. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Whiteman.